there are only a few aboriginals who are considered to be the most primitive tribes of India. The Birhur is one of the most significant among them. Bir means the jungle or forest and Hor indicates human being. So the word Birhur implies sons of the forest. Dalton's descriptive ethnology of Bengal, written and published in 1856, mentions the name of this community perhaps for the first time. The Birhors are scattered in Odisha, Bihar, Jharkhand and West Bengal, starting from the Chotanagpur Plateau. The Birhors think that they are the Singbonga, or the children of the sun. Legend has it that once upon a time, seven brothers came to our land from Khairagor in the Kaimur Hills. Four of them went east, and the rest of the three stayed at Ramgarh. When these three brothers were going to fight a battle with the local king, the turban of the youngest one stuck to a long branch of a tree. Considering it to be an ominous sign, he abstained himself from battle. The other two went on to fight. The third one was left behind. When they returned victorious and found their youngest brother wrecking the weeds, they laughed at him and jokingly called him Birhur. Humiliated, the youngest brother cut off relations from the elder ones and welcomed the jungle life. Thus the Birhur community came into existence. The two elder brothers went on to ascend the throne of Ramgar. The Birhurs are categorized into two groups. The first one is Uthlu or Bhulia, who wander about like nomads. The second one, Jaghi or Thanira, are the ones who have settled permanently. The language the Birhors use belongs to the Mundari branch of the Austro-Asian language. So the influence of Mundari and the Santali language can be observed in their dialect. Nowadays, they feel quite at home to speak Bengali and Hindi as a result of their acculturation from interactions with the neighboring Bengali and Bihari Hindu community. Generally, they live on the slope of a mountain or near the forest. They live in small leaf-made huts known as Kumba or Kumb. The Kumba has a single door but no windows. The rooms are not all congested with furniture or other household things. The area inhabited by them is known as Tanda. In each Tanda there is a Bunga or a place for God. This is a bonga. At the farthest corners of some villages, there used to be a cottage called Gitiora, now almost extinct. Here, unmarried village lads spent their nights and were taught the rules and regulations of their society. Clothing is meager for the beadholes. The children remain naked while the elders wear very ordinary and inexpensive clothes either bought from the local market or obtained through charity. <laughs> 